One of the first things that I love about veterinary science is the diversity within a single profession. And many of the students who come to our program are also fascinated by their ability and an opportunity to deal with one or the other species, focus on one or the other areas at the end of their training program. It could also be a point that also discourages some of the students to come into veterinary medicine because they would think it will overwhelm them. The second aspect which really fascinates me is that the answer or the solution to so many of newly emerging problems around human health and also food security, water security, safety are found in veterinary medicine. If we don't have a strong training program in veterinary medicine, if we don't have a strong cohort of Canadian veterinary graduates focusing into these areas, I think our health in Canada and also the safety of the food will be threatened. Every single major newly emerging disease has come from the animal world, whether it is SARS, swine flu, or avian influenza. So who stands between the health of the Canadians and these diseases is the veterinarian who is diagnosing, identifying these challenges and taking preventive measures so that they don't get transferred over to us. So these two aspects really fascinates me. I guess one of the first challenges to get into the program. So essentially so many students want to train as veterinarians and we have so few spots. Having been the chair of the admissions committee, I have seen that you could take essentially double or triple the number of applicants that, can, that apply for the job, uh, or for, the, or for the admission, uh, than the spots we have. Uh, and they will be of the same high quality. We just don't have enough spots for them. Second issue that they deal with is after they get into the program. Right at the end of the first midterm exam, many of them find their marks to be below the average of their own class. These are the type of marks that they never had in their career. So suddenly somebody has 65% in anatomy because the way we grade, the way we examine, half of the class is going to go below average. And then they will come to see us and that's the point where we as faculty engage with them and we try to explain to them that now you are competing with a highly selected group of individuals who are like yourself. Previously you were in larger classes. There is a huge variation in the intellect and the motivation and the desire to work hard and get high marks. So therefore sometimes in the process of this four-year program you will be uh, getting high marks, sometimes you will get lower marks because it's all relative to other peers. But this may not really reflect the knowledge and the technical knowledge that you are gaining. So therefore you need to separate these two things. Third challenge which comes for them is balancing very intense study program with their personal life, which also continues to be a challenge in their first three, four years after they graduate. They have young families, children, and how to be on call at night and how to take care of the family. And I think it's a bit of a more challenge for uh, women and therefore we try to prepare them, give them some advice, some ideas, or to engage them into discussion as to how to balance these various aspects of, of their life. But eventually, at the end of the day, I believe that in Canada, we do train very um, highly qualified, uh, outstanding veterinary graduates, and you see them functioning in various capacities in this country and also around the world. At the end of uh, the degree program, the, there are many opportunities for the students. The opportunities range from uh, working in a private practice, taking care of dogs and cats, working in a practice where you take care of exotic species, reptiles and others, or working in a food animal practice where you take care of the dairy cows, beef cows, horses and things like that. This is the very straightforward uh, 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 professional outcome. Then the exciting parts are ones which we still have not even ex explored in veterinary medicine. Those are going overseas, working in wildlife animals, working in biomedical sciences, working in diagnosing newly emerging diseases, trying to understand the relationship, the ecological balance between the human populations, animal populations, and also the, uh, also the impact of, uh, of one over the other. Most of these jobs are currently filled by people coming out of biology programs because we don't have enough veterinarians to go into these, uh, these newly emerging professions. And then, uh, uh, then uh, people could go, uh, choose to work with the NGOs, 
uh, people could choose to work with food uh, and agricultural organization of the United Nations. People could join uh, a Canadian diplomatic course as technical advisors, technical officers, uh, as veterinarians. People could work with the uh, uh, Canadian Development, International Development Agency. So there are so many avenues for a veterinarian to explore. The reason we don't have so many veterinarians doing these things is because most of them are, take, uh, are taking jobs which are available right after they graduate. So many opportunities, many exciting avenues to go after the four-year training program uh, from any Canadian college.